reporting on Israel. In the footage, he says as a Christian, he's obliged to love and pray for Israel and that his nation will be cursed if he doesn't do so. Africa for Palestine intends to lay a complaint with the Judicial Service Commission over those comments. Advocate Ben Winks joins me via Zoom. For more, thanks so much for your time on SABC News this afternoon. Talk to us about whether comments attributed to a judge should be looked at uh, in, in a way of reflecting his work if they're made in a personal capacity? Well, well, the first question is whether there is such a thing really as personal capacity um, when it comes to a um, an event to which the Chief Justice was invited as a Chief Justice. You know, he was invited because of and with reference to his stature as the Chief Justice of the country. He qualified his comments by saying that he was speaking as a citizen, but the platform he had was because of his status as a Chief Justice, not as a citizen. So that's the first problem with trying to suggest that there is uh, a comment being made in a, in a personal capacity. Um, the second problem is that the Judicial Code of Conduct, which Chief Justice Mukwege developed and published himself, um, says that, among other things, uh, judges must not, unless it's necessary for the discharge of judicial office, become involved in any political controversy. And this applies to their work within and outside the court, because judges need to be seen to be um, above or beyond political controversies so that people of all political stripes can feel that they have a fair hearing before any judge of a South African court. Mm -hmm. So if, if that is the case, what, how does that play in with Section 16 of the Constitution, which protects free speech? What are the limits of free speech? Um, and when can that right be curtailed? Can we look at those two things as separate? Um, so they, th we limit our rights to free speech in a number of ways. Um, we can do it through our employment contracts, that once you join employment with a particular body, um, you are, whether it's written into the contract or just comes from ordinary labor relations, that you can't say things where you're criticizing your employer um, where, you know, in the public domain uh, where that's not justified, for example. Um, and as a judge, when you take on the role of a judge, you take on a special role in society that requires that you exercise restraint. This is what the Judicial Code of Conduct talks about. Um, in the way that you conduct yourself in your public and your private life and the comments that you make in public. Um, so once you become a judge, you accept these limits on, on your freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. So a complaint is said to be laid out at the Judicial Services Commission. What is the JSC, at JSC and why is it there? Um, so the Judicial Services Commission is a body that is responsible for interviewing judges and recommending them for appointment. And it is also responsible for holding um, judicial conduct tribunals, which are essentially disciplinary hearings uh, where complaints of misconduct have been made against judges. And then once that body has heard evidence and come to a recommendation, then the recommendation goes to Parliament, and Parliament has the final decision about whether a judge is to be removed from office, for example. So how difficult is this matter going to be to deal with because of the dynamic of a chief justice who may have a complaint laid against him very shortly? It's extremely difficult. It's very awkward because the chief justice is the head of the Judicial Services Commission and the deputy chief justice is the head of the Judicial Conduct Tribunals. So here you have bodies... Uh, you know, for example, the Judicial Conduct Tribunal led by the Deputy Chief Justice, who now has to um, deal with complaints against a very close colleague, uh, you know, the most senior judge in the country. And that's never happened before. It's unprecedented. Mm -hmm. 
Ben Winks, an advocate, giving us some insight into the issue of Chief Justice Mukhoeng Mukhoeng and his comments around Israel. Of course, the story is developing and we will follow up on that. It's time.